and welcome to Field Notes. Pyramids didn't start big and glorious like we see them today. Like many things, they started from humble beginnings. So today we're gonna take a look at where the pyramids started and kind of their evolution to what we know today as the pyramids. So like I said, they came from humble beginnings and what I mean by that is they started out not being a pyramid at all. They started out as a mastaba. A mastaba was a common type of tomb in pre-dynastic Egypt, which we think probably originated somewhere in Mesopotamia. Mastaba literally means mud bench, and that's because they looked like a bench. Mastabas were rectangular, flat-roofed structures that had slightly sloped sides. Egyptian kings had this annoying habit of trying to one-up each other, and so when it came time to build Dozier's tomb and his path to the afterlife, he wanted something better. So after a little bit of head-scratching, Dozier's vizier Imhotep came to him with this idea. Imhotep's idea was to basically take the mastaba and then put more mastabas on top of it. The plan had six mastabas stacked on top of one another, each being a little smaller than the one previous. This formed what we now know as the Stepped Pyramid of Dozier. Next we had Senefru, who, like I said, needed to one-up Dozier. However, he wasn't very successful at his first go-around. Senefru had them take Dozier's idea and make him a Stepped Pyramid. He then decided, however, that he wanted to fill in those steps with limestone caps. This obviously giving it the smooth side that we're used to seeing. Because these limestone caps were not part of the original structure and were added on later, they fell off. This was obviously not going to be okay for the king, so he tried again. This time he incorporated the caps into the original building of the structure, and he gave the sides a steep 55 degree incline. About halfway up the pyramid, there began to be some structural problems. The incline was so steep that the sides started to crack and fall into the internals of the pyramid. So they adjusted their incline to a much shallower 43 degrees. And that is why we have one pyramid in Egypt that is wonky. We call it the Bent Pyramid. So far, Snefru has had two pyramids that he is like not happy with. These are not royalty pyramids. The third pyramid that he built was his success. He built a very wide low sloping pyramid made out of pink granite that we now call the Red Pyramid. Compared to the other pyramids, it is not nearly as big, but it was definitely an elegant way to start our pyramid building. Next came Snefru's son, Khufu, who obviously needed his own pyramid and needed to one-up his father. Khufu's pyramid is the very famous Great Pyramid of Giza, and no other pyramid has matched Khufu's pyramid's size. Even though Khufu's pyramid remained the tallest, each of his successors tried to do something a little bit different and a little bit more elaborately. Khufu's son Khafre came next, and while his pyramid was technically shorter, it was built at a higher elevation, and had a much more elaborate complex. Inside of Khafre's very elaborate complex, we have probably the second most famous Egyptian structure, the Sphinx. After Khafre, we have Menkaure, who, like his father, decided to go for complex rather than pyramid size. So his complex is even larger than Khafre's and Khufu's. And Menkare's pyramid finishes off the pyramids of Giza. His pyramid also marked the end of an era. From then on, pyramids became smaller and more shoddily done. Pepe II has one of the last remaining pyramids, and he reigned for an absurdly long time, 64 to 94 years. But by the time of his reign, the power bestowed in the king was vastly diminished. His pyramid is very small, considering how long he reigned for. And in its bare chambers sits Pepe II's black sarcophagus under a ceiling painted with stars. So that's how our pyramids got to how we know them today as big glorious structures. We obviously took a little bit of missteps with Snefru's crazy pyramids, but we got there in the end. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click subscribe if you would like to see more, and I will see you next time. Hello and welcome to Game Time King. We are back playing Layers of Fear. Uh, since we have last played this, the full version of the game has come out. And what that means for us, it is now informing me that my old game save thing is no longer compatible. So now we have to play the whole darn thing over.